Into the world of ancient Egypt, where pharaohs ruled the land and pyramids rose high in the sky. Among the most famous pharaohs was a king who ascended the throne when he was only nine years old. His name has become synonymous with the splendor and mystery of this ancient civilization. King Tutankhamun, also known as King Tut. Though his reign was short, his legacy has endured for thousands of years, capturing the imaginations of scholars and public alike. So who is King Tut, and what secrets does his story contain? Join us on a journey to discover the exciting life of this legendary king. Please hit the like button, share and subscribe to the channel. You'll never miss a video and help us to deliver even more great content. Click that like button and sign up today. King Tutankhamun, or also known as Tutankhaten, was born around 1341 BC of the 18th dynasty of Egypt. King Tut's parents are believed to be Akhenaten and one of his sisters, although the identity of his mother remains a subject of controversy among historians. King Tut's early life was marked by significant changes in the religious and political landscape of Egypt. Tutankhamun's birth name was Tutankhaten, which means living image of Aten, the sun god worshipped by Akhenaten and his followers. When King Tut was born, his father Akhenaten initiated religious reforms. Akhenaten introduced a new monotheistic religion of Aten. This new religion is a departure from the traditional polytheistic religion of ancient Egypt, which worshipped a pantheon of gods. The new religion also led to the suppression of the traditional priesthood, causing significant upheaval in the country. After Akhenaten's death, King Tut ascended the throne at the age of nine. He was too young to rule independently, so a group of advisors and regents helped him rule. The young king's advisors were tasked with restoring the traditional polytheistic religion, which had been suppressed during the reign of Akhenaten. They also had to deal with the political unrest that arose from his religious reforms. King Tut's wife was Ankinsenemun, also his half-sister. They are believed to have had two daughters together, although their names and identities remain uncertain. Some historians suggest that one of their daughters may have been stillborn, while others speculate that both daughters may have died in infancy. King Tut's first reign was marked by the change of the country's capital. Akhenaten moved the capital from Thebes to Amarna to reflect the new political and religious order. However, King Tut's advisors moved the capital to Thebes to restore the old order and strengthen the political and religious institutions of the country. King Tut's advisors also played an important role in restoring the old religion. They oversaw the construction of several new temples and shrines dedicated to traditional deities, such as Amun and Osiris. They also restored the traditional priesthood and once again allowed the people to worship the gods. King Tut also achieved important political achievements during his reign. He worked to restore the power and influence of the traditional bureaucracy, which had weakened during his father's reign. He also successfully negotiated a peace treaty with the neighboring kingdom of Hatti, which had been at war with Egypt for many years. In addition to his political and religious achievements, King Tut is also known for his patronage of the arts. During his reign, he commissioned a number of works of art, including sculptures, paintings, and jewelry. One of the most famous works of art was a golden coffin containing his mummy. The coffin is decorated with intricate gold and precious stones, demonstrating the high level of craftsmanship of the ancient Egyptian artisans. Despite his notable achievements, King Tut's reign was cut short when he died at a young age of around 18. His death remains a mystery, and various theories range from a chariot accident to murder. There are several theories as to the cause of King Tut's death. One of the most popular theories is that he died by accident or illness. Evidence from King Tut's tomb shows that he was in poor health at the time of his death. He suffered from a cleft palate, club foot, and other physical abnormalities. Some experts believe he may have had a genetic disorder that weakened his immune system and made him more susceptible to illness. Another theory is that King Tut was murdered. 
This theory is based on a number of pieces of evidence, including a crack in the back of his skull, that some experts believe was caused by a blow to the head. It's also reported that King Tut's body was hastily embalmed, possibly a sign that his death was unexpected. There is also speculation that King Tut may have died from complications from a broken leg. In 2005, a team of researchers performed a CT scan of King Tut's mummy and discovered evidence of a fracture in his left femur. This theory is supported by the fact that King Tut was found with a large number of walking sticks and other mobility aids in his tomb. In 2010, a team of scientists conducted a DNA analysis on King Tut's mummy. They were able to determine that he was the son of Akhenaten and one of his sisters. They also discovered evidence of several genetic disorders, including a rare form of epilepsy and a condition that caused his toes to curl. King Tutankhamun's death is a mystery that may never be completely solved. However, the evidence that has been discovered over the years provides us with some clues as to what may have happened to the young pharaoh. No matter what reason he died, his death remains a fascinating subject that continues to capture the imaginations of people around the world. King Tutankhamun's tomb is located in the Valley of the Kings near Luxor in Egypt. The tomb, discovered in 1922 by British archaeologist Howard Carter and his team, is one of the most famous and best preserved tombs ever discovered. The mausoleum is small, modest in size compared to other royal tombs in the Valley of the Kings, consisting of four main chambers. The first room, called the Waiting Room, contains a collection of items that King Tut used in his daily life, such as furniture, carriages, and boxes. The foyer also houses a splendid golden temple that once housed a sacred statue of the god Amun. The second room, called the burial chamber, is the most important room of the tomb. It contains the coffin of King Tutankhamun, made of solid gold and decorated with precious stones. The coffin is made of quartz and has a red granite lid, painted yellow to match the quartz. The coffin is carved with images of four guardian goddesses, Isis, Nephthys, Neith, and Serket. Inside the coffin was a golden lion-headed sarcophagus containing three interlocking humanoid coffins. The two outer coffins are made of gilded wood and inlaid with glass and semi-precious stones. King Tutankhamun's golden mask is one of the most iconic ancient Egyptian artifacts in the world. Mask on the head of the mummy of Tutankhamun, decorated with a bearded skull cap and a golden crown. Inside the mask was Tutankhamun's mummy, embalmed and decorated with various amulets and jewels. The mummy was found wearing slippers and wrapped in linen covered with gold and precious stones. In addition to the mummy and coffin, the tomb of King Tutankhamun contains many other items. Two daggers were found inside the coffin, one iron and one of gold. The golden dagger was particularly interesting because it had a blade made of meteorite iron, making it one of the rarest metals at the time. The third chamber, known as the Annex, houses additional items such as furniture, statues, and pottery. The outbuilding also contains a large number of jars that were once used to hold food and drink for the afterlife. Finally, the fourth room is a treasury which houses a collection of precious items such as jewels, ornaments, and urns, which will be used by King Tut in the afterlife. The walls of the tomb are covered with intricate pictures and hieroglyphs, depicting various scenes from ancient Egyptian mythology and religion. The paintings provide a glimpse into ancient Egyptian beliefs about the afterlife and rituals associated with death. The discovery of the tomb of King Tutankhamun is an important event in the field of Egyptology because it provides a lot of information about the life and beliefs of the ancient Egyptians. The tomb contains more than 5,000 artifacts including jewelry, furniture, and works of art, all of which are in very good condition. However, the discovery of the tomb also sparked controversy and rumors of a curse as several members of the team involved in the excavation died shortly after its discovery but it is believed that these deaths are the result of natural causes and not any supernatural curse. 
The discovery of King Tut's tomb had a profound impact on the field of archaeology. It shows that it was still possible to make important discoveries in Egypt, despite the fact that many of the tombs were looted or destroyed. King Tut's tomb also had a significant impact on tourism in Egypt. Treasures from the tomb have been displayed in museums around the world, and they have attracted millions of visitors. The discovery of the tomb also sparked interest in it. It helped to make the country a popular tourist destination. Treasures from King Tut's tomb also had a profound impact on art and culture. The intricate designs and exquisite craftsmanship of the artifacts have inspired artists and designers around the world, and they continue to influence art and design today. The discovery of the tomb also helped establish ancient Egypt as an enduring cultural icon whose art, architecture, and mythology have inspired countless books, films, and artworks. Although King Tutankhamun's life was short, he left an indelible mark in history. As a pharaoh in a time of political and religious turmoil, he was of no particular significance in his time. However, Howard Carter's discovery of his tomb has revealed a lot of information about his life, reign, and culture of ancient Egypt. His reign may have been brief, but his tomb opened the door to the fascinating world of ancient Egypt, and it continues to arouse wonder and curiosity to this day. Please consider hitting the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support, and I can't wait to see you in the upcoming videos.